Do you know which city in Canada has the highest unemployment rate? Unfortunately, it's Windsor, Ontario. But despite of that, real estate prices are growing in the city. Then what the heck is happening? Let's find out in this video. Namaskar, this is Aditya Soma and I'm a real estate investor and real estate agent and broker owner of Saymax Win City Realty. My goal with this channel is to share education on real estate and how you can achieve financial freedom using real estate as a vehicle. I really want you to be part of my mission in spreading this knowledge. All I need is a small help from you. Before you continue watching this video, go hit that subscribe button and if you can, share it with your friends. So first, let's look into real estate market updates. In August 2024, the average home price in Windsor, Ontario is $587,553, which was in 2023 August, $561,916, which makes it a growth of 4.56%. So you must be wondering, you know, there are many cities in Ontario, the prices are going down and the properties are not selling. Then what the heck is happening? Based on my research, I believe mainly there are three reasons why this real estate market is still growing in Windsor, Ontario. Number one is the population. So we will find out what's happening with that. Number two is the jobs. The amount of jobs that are getting created and future jobs coming into the city. So we'll find about that. And finally, the infrastructure. What exactly happening with the roads, sewers and all those things. So according to Statistics Canada, the Windsor, Ontario population has grown 118% in last two years, 2022 and 2023. Whereas in last 19 years before that, from 2001 to 2021, the growth was less than that. If you want to look at exact figures, 41,877 people moved in in last two years. And before that, the 19 years, there were 35,333 people moved in. Imagine what kind of demand that brings into the city. It will demand for things to get created, right? And not only that, they are predicting that another 31,000 new people to come in this year, 2024, which makes it whole Windsor Essex population over 500,000. Now the question is, can Windsor Essex accommodate all these new people? Do they have enough infrastructure? And this is exactly why they came up with a 10-year capital plan for infrastructure revamping, where they have a plan of investing 568.8 million on roads, 470.6 million towards upgrading the sewers. So for just 2024 alone, 57% of the budget plan they have, they're planning to spend on the roads and sewers, which makes it 56.1 million on roads, 61.4 million on sewers. So they're already working on the plan. And actually, I'm already seeing that during our commute to office or, you know, when I'm going for showings, I'm seeing, you know, a lot of roads getting rebuilt and I'm seeing a lot of recreational parks getting revamped. You know, if you're Windsorite, let me know if you have seen any, um, you know, road revamping or adding a park or, you know, revamping all this uh, re riverside. Have you seen those? Have you noticed this? Let me know in the comments below. And on top of it, they have planned to invest 117 million on upgrading the city transit because, you know, one of the major thing for people to commute to work is the transit. So they're also focusing on that. And recently I noticed, you know, they're hiring social media, you know, content creators to market about transit. And city have mentioned that, uh, you know, in this uh, transit upgrade plan, they're also planning to bring electric buses. And lastly, looking at this demand, a lot of developers already focusing on building multifamily apartment buildings, and they're providing a lot of incentives in different neighborhoods, like, you know, HST back, of course, that is the Ontario plan. Um, but in um, downtown area, uh, they they're providing CIP grants, which, you know, if you're building a brand new multifamily, if you qualify, your property taxes will be the, your land tax for 10 years. So those kind of incentives to revamp the city in multiple areas. Now coming to the main thing, all these people moving in, yes, infrastructure is there, 
but if the people don't have the jobs obviously they're going to move out of the city moving in is not the only important thing right we want to keep the people here so for that what exactly is happening and what are the future plans so first biggest thing that is happening is ford recently announced three billion dollar investment in oakville to produce 6.8 and 7.3 liter engines to catch up with the demand for their f-series so since this three billion investment in oakville plant they decided to manufacture this big engines in windsor at the windsor annex plant so it will be built here and sent out to the oakville so there will be transport increase there will be more employment required for this annex engine plant they're expecting around 150 new hires along with the existing 900 employees they already have and now coming to another major news probably you might have heard multiple times the next star battery plant where they're expecting this plant to be open in mid of 2025 and their target is to hire 2500 employees out of which they already hired 325 on a side note there is a joint project going on between St. Clair College and Women's Enterprise Skills Training of Windsor to help women to get into the EV industry. Another one, Gordy Howe Bridge. So this already been under construction. We already have existing tunnel and a bridge. You know, there is 40,000 plus uh, commutes happen between the um, tourists and truckers. This commuters carry 323 million worth goods every day but from my research i found out that you know this traffic is way less than what the traffic used to be two decades ago so probably that's why i guess they are starting to build this new bridge and by the way the good news is for someone who enjoys walking they're gonna have a nice walkway as well between you know detroit and windsor right now we see if you come in the evening times on Huron Church Road, you will see a lot of trucks just lined up. So we are hoping that, you know, once this new bridge starts, we'll have, you know, less traffic in this Huron Church Road. But also new bridge will improve the uh, import and export flow between the countries. But again, we have to wait and see how much business this can bring in. Now coming to a future project that really can explode the Windsor market is the mega hospital which has been already approved they already in the land acquisition phase they're planning to start the construction in 2026 and they're building almost 1.3 million square feet facility including everything like you know the different specializations in the hospital different things because this is going to be third largest mega hospital in ontario now imagine the amount of jobs that this can create as of now we don't have an exact estimate but definitely expecting thousands of jobs coming from doctors nurses supporting staff you know maintenance staff on top of it all this you know small businesses that get created around it like medical offices you know food facilities uh, you know restaurants and the families that move with this staff you know people who's going to get employed here and imagine along with these projects, a lot of small businesses are flourishing in Windsor. You know, when I came to Windsor, there were like 10 years ago, one Indian restaurant. Now, if you just Google Indian restaurants in Windsor, you'll see 50 plus with different options. Before, we used to travel to Detroit for all the food options, but now I get everything, authentic food here. Again, that's just one example. Imagine barber shops, you know, imagine day to day services for all your, your telephone, you know, your groceries, your clothing. So obviously, when population grows, all these small businesses will be created and we already getting created and a lot of small, you know, self-employed people like me, salespeople, you know, mortgage brokers, real estate agents, uh, insurance brokers, different salespeople. So obviously, with the flow of population, with the infrastructure and bigger projects, all these things will be expanding. And this is exactly why I believe Windsor is the fastest growing city in next three years in whole Canada. 
and I am projecting again, this is my opinion, I would love to hear from you. I think Windsor will have the highest real estate growth in next three years than any other city. And by the way, I haven't really mentioned about the Detroit city because, you know, I'll be talking about that in another video. Detroit was also a dead city, but now growing rapidly, which is bringing in a lot of different job opportunities for Canadians who live here and who commute on a daily basis. So I'm going to make another detailed video on what exactly happening in Detroit, why it's a great opportunity for Windsorites because, you know, they go for different games, entertainment, shopping, jobs, obviously. So with that, I'll wind up this video here and I would love to hear your thoughts. What do you think? Is this video any helpful for you? Let me know in the comments below and what kind of other data or other information that you would like to know about Windsor, let me know in the comments below. With that, I really appreciate for watching this video all the way here. If you really liked it, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and help me with reaching 100,000 people by end of 2024. So with that, thank you so much. Take care. Detroit neighborhoods are getting $2.5 billion investments.